welcome back now once we have calculated uh, the length of the starting blank the second question that arises is that where should the punch contact this blank uh, so that once we bend it at that position we get the required part so you may recall that in the example that we saw to calculate the length of the blank we had to make two bends one 90 degree bend and the other 30 degree bend so we need to find the two positions, two lines, where the center of the punch should contact the blank so that once we bend it, we get the required lengths as well as required uh, angles and radii. So that line where the punch should contact the blank to bend it is called the layout line. So that is where the center of the punch should contact. And as the punch has a certain radius, so this layout line should be at the, at the center of that radius of the band part. So then there will be two corresponding lines that will be the terminal points of the radius after the part has been bent. And those lines are called the bend lines. So the solid line is called the layout line and the dotted lines are called band line so there are two band lines related to each layout line so the lines where the internal radii are tangent to the legs of a band are called band lines so in this case we will have say layout lines somewhere over here when the blank was straight and we will have two corresponding uh, band lines a line drawn parallel to but halfway between both band lines is the layout line at which the punch contacts the workpiece. If the internal radius is zero, the layout line and band lines will coincide. So if we have a blank like this that has a certain length that has to be accurately calculated, then you could see this solid line where the punch contacts the blank piece to make the required band like this. And two corresponding band lines are actually the terminal points of the radius. So you could notice here that somewhere over here will be the layout line where the center of the punch will contact the blank and you could notice the uh, two band lines as well. So here as well, this is the starting blank that has a certain length L and this is the center point of the punch. So it is contacting the uh, layout line and you could notice two corresponding band lines as well. So in the example that we just saw to calculate the length of the starting uh, blank, we were making two bands, one 90 degree band and the other 30 degree band. So we need to calculate the position of two layout lines and corresponding band lines as well. So there will be a layout line to make the 90 degree band and there will be a layout line to make the 30 degree band. Now you may recall that length, uh, the straight length of the arm on the right side was 3.035 and first band allowance was 0.243. So related to both layout lines will be a pair of band lines so we have to calculate the position of the layout line so that once the center of the punch contacts the layout line, we are able to make the required radii. So this length was uh, 3.035, this straight length. This was 3.035. And this was uh, 0.243. So position of first layout line from right will be equal to this 3.035 plus half of this 0.243. So that will be 0 0.243 divided by 2. So that will be equal to approximately 
1.56 inches. So this will be 3.156 inches. Similarly, the position of second layout line from left from the left end of the of the blank. So that will be equal to the straight length L3. This one was four. And the second band allowance was 0 0.046. So that will be equal to four plus 0 0.046 divided by two. So that will be 4.023 inches. So this was, this length was four and this was 0 0.046. So the position of the second layout line from left, this thing, will be equal to 4.023 inches. And of course, this distance between uh, uh, these two band lines, that is the straight length, the middle straight length was 4.535, so that will be 4.535. Uh, so in fact, this will be this is already indicated, so this will be 4.535 inches. And finally, what should be the distance between these two uh, layout lines? So as we know that the total length of the uh, blank is 11.86, so 11.86 minus these two lengths, that is 4.023 minus 3.156. So that will be equal to approximately 4.68. So this length between the layout lines, this one, will be equal to 4.68 inches. So th these are the calculations related to the position of the uh, layout line. So from the right side, the first uh, layout line will be at a distance of 3.156 inches. From the left, the position of the second layout line will be 4.023 inches. And the distance between two layout lines is approximately uh, 4.681 inches.